Mga kabuso, hihirit na si Maring Winnie. Terroristang grupo na ang turing ni Pangulo Rodrigo Duterte sa CPP, NPA, NDF matapos kanselahin ng peace talks at tapusin na ang ceasefire. Inaresto na rin kahapon sa Davao City ang isang NDF consultant. Tuloy na nga bang maisasantabing muli ang usapang pangkapayapaan at bakit kaya biglang nagbagong posisyon ng Pangulo sa pakikipagdegosasyon sa rebelding grupo. Pag-usapan natin niyang kasama ng ating resident analyst, Professor Winnie Monson. Maring Winnie, maganda kumari. Jesus God. Magandang umaga, Ivan. Magandang umaga, mga kapuso. Alam nyo, matagal nang itinuring na teroristang grupo mm -hmm. ang CPA-NBF ng, ng, ng United States. Eh, pero alam nyo, I'm with President Duterte in doing this kasi talagang he has been bending over backward for the Communist Party. Hindi ba nagbigay siya ng cabinet positions mm -hmm. sa siya lang, ang, siya lang ang unikong presidente na nagbigay ng cabinet positions sa mga you know, tinuturing na komunista, hindi ba? At saka talagang, you know, he released the prisoners, sent them abroad for to be consultants, etc. Mar marami na siyang ginawa. Pero, ang mga komunista, marami pang demanda. You know, demanda lang, demanda lang, demanda. Parang wala nang katapusan mm -hmm. yan demandang yan eh ngayon pinatay nila tatlong soldado eh sabi ni, ni President Duterte 73 times na 73 soldado na ang napatay na mga komunista in this period kaya wala na and I agree with him kailangan alam nyo alam nyo dapat siguro palitan na kung sino ang kinakausap nila. Kasi ang kinakausap nila, Ivan, mm -hmm. eh, somebody who has been away for 30 years mm -hmm. from the Philippines and has no idea. He's only an advisor now mm -hmm. to the Communist Party, hindi ba? And I think if they want to talk about the Communist Party and they should talk to the people na, na andidito, as NDF, as CPP, na, you know, mm -hmm. those arrested, wag na pumunta sa abroad. Diba? I think that's what should happen. Yes, Professor Monsod, uh, nasa linya po ng ating telepono, bayan muna Representative Carlos Zarate. Uh, Congressman Zarate, magandang umaga po sa inyo. Magandang umaga, Ivan, at uh, Okay, Congressman Zarate, what do you think? Don't you think that President Duterte has done an enormous amount of, uh, of actions in favor of the Communist Party already? Uh, in fairness, uh, uh, you know, totoo yung sinabit nyo na trade uh, uh, ng support na yun. Hindi na nawa. Sorry. Uh, ay kukulo itong uh, uh, presentas na situation. No? Uh, in the past five months, that that's three rounds of talk. Right? Mm -hmm. so, Congressman, Congressman Salate, we cannot hear you. You're chopping up. Uh, Congressman, uh, itadayan po namin ulit ang inyong numero para maayos ko ang ating linya ng uh, komunikasyon. Ano? Please hang on, sir. Uh, Professor Monson, nabanggit ka hapon ni Ginoong Luis Halandoni na ito raw pagpatay doon sa mga sundalo, mm -hmm. posible raw gawa ng gobyerno rin para isisi <laughs> sa NPA. Ang ibig sabihin... Ay, I mean, oh, isisi sa NPA and, you know, uh, madiscarry itong peace talks. Tingnan mo ito, ha? Mm -hmm. Gagawin kaya yan ng military na papatay nila ang kanilang sariling tao? Mm -hmm. I don't think that's happened. Nagkakaroon ng transformation ang military from 2010. Meron silang transformation roadmap. Mm -hmm. eh, talagang sinusunod nila yon. Mm -hmm. Iba na nga ang, iba na ang militar ngayon kesa sa mm -hmm. noon. Eh. Nasa linya na po natin. Muli. Bayan muna representative Zarate. No. Nahihirapan po tayo sa ating linya ng komunikasyon sa kanya. Ang demand Tumal. naman na uh, Professor no, Monsod itong CPP ay yung pagpapalaya daw ng mga political prisoners. They claim that the, the President didn't make good on his promise na i-release itong mga all political prisoners. There are, there are 400 political hmm. prisoners. Some of them are, are charged with murder, etc. Hindi yan political, criminal na yan. Hmm. So I don't know what the situ situation is. 
Pero I think that they are asking too much because they have not been, you know, the president wanted na kaagad-kaagad mag-meeting of the minds mm -hmm. na sila. At sabi mo, wala na. Because the, this, this uh, war, this war between mm -hmm. the, the government and the CPP, NPA, is the oldest, do you know that? Yes. It's the oldest war in the whole world. Hindi pa natapos. Ito nga din sila sa Duterte, kaya ata nagkaroon ng breakthrough, Professor. Exactly. Ay, But you know what? Yeah. The president really should not act on anger. Mm -hmm. Mahirap yung, yes, you yes. know, one should not act on anger, and I hope the President realizes mm -hmm. that. Congressman Zarate, sir, you were saying? Magandang umaga, Juan. Magandang umaga, magigay. You were saying, uh, Congressman, kanina pong uh, bago tayo maputol. You uh, said uh, something in fairness. Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh, dahil uh, talaga naman itong nakaraang atong rounds of talks no, under this uh, administration, na mga kaas na ng inusad ng usaping kapakapayaman, especially the substantive agenda ng peace talks, no? Ang mga hindi ginawa ng previous administrations, uh, like uh, sa panahon ni uh, President Arroyo at si Noy Noy Abimo ay nangyari sa iyo. At yung usad niyo ito. Uh, at kaya tayo ay naninayang na makansila yung usaping kapakapayaman, no? Uh, doon naman po sa usapin ng uh, uh, ceasefire and uh, release of political prisoners, ito mga issues na ito ay pinag-usapan ng both panels. In fact, uh, nitong last round of talks sa uh, Rome, Italy, ay nagkaroon ng uh, doon sa kanilang joint statement, maglinaw doon na uh, on February 22 to 27, ay uh, magkikita muli yung ceasefire committees ng both parties, ng GRP and NTSP. At uh, pag-usapan ang posibilidad ng bilateral ceasefire at tumanggin ang pagpapalaya ng mga disinibong politikal na may sakit at mga matatanda. Uh, at ito ay nakaschedule na ngayon na February 22 to uh, 27. No? So, yung usapin ng withdrawal of ceasefire, uh, the was bound, uh, I think, to happen dahil in the past, since August, nung madiklara ang ceasefire, nataroon na mga charges and counter charges of violations na na uh, yung nila sa last few fires na dipikler ng mga dalawang panel. No? Uh, mayroong proof uh, forward deployment ng ESP. Uh, in fact, nangyari ito ng February 21 when uh, going on peace talks sa uh, uh, Makila at sa uh, Rome Italy, nagkaroon ng encounter doon sa Makila na North Cotabato that resulted to the death of at least one uh, NPA rebel. So I think this is now uh, not the time uh, uh, na sabihin natin Ditawa na natin yung peace talks, you know, wala nang sila yan. No? In fact, I think uh, for people of goodwill, this is the time to even call even more no? that the parties will go back to the uh, negotiating table and uh, pursue, uh, give the chance to uh, continue the negotiations at the Pacific Agenda on social economic reform, including yung accelerated agenda ng political and constitutional reforms as well as the end of hostilities and disposition of forces. Of course, uh, merong mga developments recently, uh, may mga nabitawang mga salita, but uh, uh, my part, Ivan, uh, I think, uh, mas hitting na namin ngayon na uh, yung naiiwang kuwang na pwede pang uh, matrisyon yung talks ay ating ipanawagan, not for the interest of the DRP and the NPFP alone, but for the greater interest of our people. Yes. Na in the past five de decades na nataroon itong Congressman uh, Sarato, uh, unconflict. Yes. You have talked about the demands of the CPP NPA of the government. You have not talked about has the government asked the CPP NPA for anything? Uh, Maring nini, uh, doon yung sa uh, tatlong rounds of talks, no? Ito sa pinag-usapan dito ay ang bilateral require na tulong ng uh, government. And as I was saying earlier, naka-schedule itong pag-usapan uli formally by February 22 to 25. And I think yung usapin naman po na uh, release ng political detaining, uh, ito po ay uh, uh, ibinukas mismo ng gobyerno even before the reception of the talks in August na palayain ang mga political prisoners at uh, part ng uh, confidence uh, prisoners. Ano ang sagot niyo sa tanong ko? Yes okay. or no? Uh, Doon mo, Sir Mag, uh, yung tanong ninyo kung may uh, uh, mm. hindi niya ang gobyerno niya. But the NDF has, has uh, accepted and fulfilled. At uh, ito pong tuloy-tuloy na pag-uusap nila ang bilateral peace fire. No? 
at doon naman nung sa substantive agenda, uh, nagkaroon sila ng exchange of drugs. No? And in fact, doon din sa last round of talks, meron mong side agreement, uh, supplemental agreement sila na sa pagkasunduhan na sa pag-operationalize uh, ng Joint Monitoring Committee uh, sa implementation ng tarif, no? the uh, first agreement na nagsagdaan ng party tonight. Okay. You mean to say you consider the demand for the government for a ceasefire a demand? Bakit yung NDF ayaw mag-ceasefire? Uh, Maring Willie, ito ay sinag-uusapan. No? Unilateral ceasefire ang nangyari in mm -hmm. August of 19, okay. uh, 2016. No? Uh, for the first time, merong mahabang ceasefire that did not happen uh, since 1992 when uh, the formal talk uh, started. No? Uh -huh. So, yung August of uh, 2016 hanggang ngayong January, okay. mga unilateral ceasefire yun. Kaya ang gobyerno, nagsutulong sila na Uh, kung maaari magkaroon ng bilateral ceasefire at ito ay pinag-uutapan nilang maraming salamat po uh, sa puntong ito, nasa linyo din po ng ating telepono AFP spokesperson Colonel Edgard Arevalo Colonel Arevalo, thank you for joining us sir magandang umaga po magandang umaga po sa inyo at sa ating po mga pagkakakinig Okay Colonel, what do you intend to do now that there is no ceasefire? Ano ang plano ng, ng militar? All out war na po bang kasunod dito Colonel? Wala po tayong ibinibig, wala po ibinibigira ang ating Pangulo na all out war at wala po tayong gagawin all out war. If ever we have to conduct combat operations that is in pursuit of our mandate sa ating konstitusyon na protektahan ng ating mga mangyayat at mga pamayatan. So meron pong nag-iigilat na pangabuso, pag-iigil, pag-anakot, pag-imuno ng mga public conversions. Colonel, oh, don't give us the propaganda talk. We just want to ask questions. Well, no, please. You know, Colonel Arevalo, were you in favor of the, the presidents lifting the, the talks and going all out again and calling the NDF CPA terrorists? Was the army in favor of this? Were they the one who recommended to the president? We, do not, we did not recommend to the president that for them to be considered terrorists. It was actually the armed forces of the Philippines who asked for or requested and help for the delisting sa Amerika ng uh, CPPNPA mm. as terrorists. Oh, that's that the, 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 it was the army who asked the America for the, the listing or did the America on behalf of the government, uh, yes. The yes, government of course. Tayo po ay mm. Did the United States the list them? Hindi po. Hindi po sila the list ng government. Now with regard to their tagging as terrorists, yun pong kanilang mga action, yun pong binabanggit po kanina is not propaganda. Yun pong mga action nila na ginawa nila ngayon, panununo, panunikin, these are no less than terrorist acts. President Duterte said that 73 soldiers were killed. Is that so? Hindi ko po ang presidente po natin ang may hawak ng lahat ng total na record. But what I can tell you immediately for the, uh, for the last uh, four or five days or six days na siguro sa ngayon, anin na sundalo po natin kasama po ang isang opisyal ang pinatay ng mga New People's Army at sa ngayon po at lupang sundalo ang nasa kanilang mga sa inyong mga kamay at kanilang dinukos. Ilang po ang pinatay ng mga sundalo? Meron ba ang pinatay ng mga sundalo ng mga MD MDF? Pakilip po yung maling tanong. Ilan po yung napatay sa panig naman ng NPA? Sa panig po ng NPA, yung isa pong binabanggit natin, kung ang tinatanong po natin ay yung sa, makila sa makilala, isa po ang napatay doon na member ng New People's Army. Sa ipotot, kung ito total po natin, uh, recently sa nangyaring mga operations na natin, we have at least three okay. members of the CPP and uh, yes. Colonel Arevalo, unfortunately sir, we don't have uh, enough time. Maraming salamat thank po sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And of course, Bayan Muna Representative Carlos Zarate. Thank you sir. Thank you. No, I, I hate it when they you know, put in the government, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I, was I... No, no, no. Um, it's a, it, it, it's... No, but because don't... Don't waste the time. Anyway, mm -hmm. anyway, malino naman po siguro sa magkabilang panig na we are all for, for peace here. We are all for law enforcement. Tignan natin kung ano magiging uh, susunod na development dito sa sa peace talks. Kung meron pa, kung magkakaroon pa. Maraming salamat. But you should not act in anger. I act in anger all the time. Kumaan na po natin si Rea at Susie. <laughs>